Hello my friends, this is Video Lancer, and this is my next video tutorial. Today, we'll consider a simple trick for changing the size of the objects in a video. You can use this method for videos in TikTok, Instagram, and musical videos and others. But before we start, I'd like to recommend you my top product. Are you familiar with these video transitions? Certainly you are. Nowadays, they are the most popular transitions on YouTube. Video Lancer Motion Designer, who developed them, have created more than 3,000 of such handy seamless transitions for After Effects as well as for Premiere Pro. Try them now. Free versions are available for all subscribers of Video Lancer channel. Links for downloading in the description. Well, let's start. I will use this footage with the car as an example. Let's call it Source Footage. Duplicate the source footage and name it Rear Wheel. Add Mocha effect on this layer. It is advisable to rename this effect so that there are no problems with expressions. Open the plugin window. Here, outline the arc of the rear wheel with the help of XSpline. Name this layer Wheel Track and make tracking. Place the anchor point of the layer in the lower part of the wheel. You can switch off display of this layer. Now create a new spline that faithfully copies outlines of the wheel and the arch. Name this layer Wheel Mask. Choose Wheel Track layer in the list of Link to Track. Now the spline moves together with the Wheel Track layer but the spline position should be improved in some frames. Create one more spline in this place. This layer is required to keep shadows in places where the wheel is in contact with asphalt. Name this layer Shadow Mask and link it with the wheel track layer as well. Improve the spline position along the timeline where it is necessary. Now close the plugin window. In the Mocha settings, export the masks we created earlier. You can increase feather and expansion a little for the wheel mask. Increase feather value considerably for the shadow mask in order to make the edges less distinct. Then extract tracking data. To do this, click Create Track Data in Mocha settings. Select Wheel Track layer in this list and click OK. The plugin created tracking data but we need only center parameter. That's why you can delete unwanted keyframes. To make the anchor point move together with the central point, let's link it through expression. Do the same for position parameter. Now you can change the wheel size. Let's animate scale beginning with this frame. Here, a part of the car body is still visible. We can improve this in different ways. For example, with the help of Content Aware Fill. But I am going to use a workaround in this specific case. So, duplicate the rear wheel layer. Rename the lower copy to Rear Wheel Patch. Scale this layer a bit so that it could cover the unwanted part of the car body. Add Liquify effect on this layer. Link Distortion Mesh Offset with the tracking data of the central point. Then distort the image using Liquify tools in order to hide all unwanted parts. If necessary, you can animate distortion mesh parameter in order to improve distortion effect along the timeline. Now repeat all the steps for the front wheel. One little tip, to avoid covering the headlight when you zoom the wheel, you should shift a little the anchor point of the wheel track layer forward. Next, we will add a bending effect above the wheel arches. To do this, create a new adjustment layer and place it above the source footage. Name it Rear Bend. 
apply the bulge effect on this layer. We can create a fake bend with the help of this effect, but we need an extra point of the tracking in the middle of the zoomed wheel. To do this, create a new null object. Name it Rear Wheel Null. Go to Rear Wheel Layer. Here, duplicate Mocha effect and open the plugin window. Delete these layers, therefore, we will not need them. Place the anchor point for the wheel track layer approximately in the middle of the zoomed wheel. Close the plugin window and extract tracking data. Select Transform in Export option. Select Rear Wheel Null in the Layer Export list and click Apply Export. Go to Rear Bend Layer. In Bulge Settings, link the Bulge Center to the position of the Rear Wheel Null. Now Bulge Effect moves together with the wheel, but we have to make it so the effect radius increases automatically with the wheel size. Let's link these two parameters with a scale of Rear Wheel Null. Animate the radius and bulge height in these frames so that the distortion effect matches the animation for the wheel. Now we need to remove the distortion effect in this place. To do this, just create a mask for the rear bend layer. To make the mask move together with the car, parent this layer to rear wheel null. Now repeat all these steps for the front wheel. Done! Well, that's all for today. I do hope this tutorial will be helpful for you. Subscribe to my channel not to miss new video tutorials. That was Video Lancer. See you!